About 25 years ago, I was researching a painting for inclusion in an exhibition at the Rubin Museum of Art. The Rubin Museum wasn't open at that time, but we were preparing. The painting was of uh, the Ninth Karmapa, uh, Wong Chuk Dorje, and it uh, belonged to uh, Shelley and Donald Rubin. It's a large format painting, and uh, it clearly belonged to a set, but at that time we didn't know what set. It could have been a Karmapa incarnation painting set, or it could have been a, um, a Karma Kagyu specific uh, lineage painting, Mahamudra lineage, or it could have been a Karmapa included in a, a completely different um, set of paintings. But then over time we found four more that belonged to this set. We found uh, uh, Talopa, which is in a private collection, and then we, we discovered uh, a Milarepa, also in a private collection. Then there was the third Karmapa, and this is in a museum in Munich, Germany. And then, uh, very, in, very oddly, we discovered that there was um, another painting from the set in the Australian National Gallery, or the National Gallery of Australia. I'm not sure which way it goes. So, this brought up a lot of questions. So fine, it is established now that it is it is a karma kagyu uh, lineage of some kind. It's not an incarnation lineage. It would appear to be more of a, a teaching lineage. The most common uh, lineage paintings produced in the in the karma kagyu school is the um, golden uh, garland mahamudra lineage, which is the standard lineage of the karma kagyu, which in, includes all of the karmapas and their teachers in this unbroken line coming down from Marpa and uh, uh, Naropa, Tilopa, Vajradhara. Okay, now, the interesting thing about this set is typically the the Golden Garland lineage does not include uh, the fifth Situ uh, Chuki Gjeltsen, the painting that's in the Australian National Gallery. So, is this just a variation on the standard uh, Mahamudra Karmakagi lineage, or, or is this a completely different lineage and we s just don't have enough compositions to be able to uh, piece it together and make a clear identification? So that's one, one problem is uh, what is it representing and, and what special lineages include the fifth uh, Tai Situ. Now another peculiarity with this uh, painting set is it has Jungle, Kenry, and Numenry stylistic elements. Numenry stylistic elements are, are really mid 17th century uh, to the up until the end of the 17th century really is when we we begin to see these more commonly the end of the 17th century so then we have the question of well what style is this set of paintings and who commissioned it and when and in what region of Tibet so this is really a big question for this set of paintings um, we could have chosen any number of other sets, but this one is particularly interesting because the quality of the painting is uh, is remarkable, and and all of the paintings are very large format. They're large size paintings, and it would have to be a very important um, commission because once you put brocade onto those or or borders cloth uh, uh, borders onto the paintings, it would be a, a very very large set that can only hang in a very large uh, temple. So these are really the questions. Um, what lineage is it? Um, when was it commissioned? And uh, uh, where was it commissioned? Originally, we were dating uh, the first painting uh, of the Ninth Karmapa to the early 17th century, but then we started to move the date uh, uh, more towards the present, especially with the, the fifth uh, Tai Situ, uh, Chuki Gjeltsen. But it is also very possible that this is an unknown, unrecorded commission of the 8th Tai Situ, 
um, where we have a, this combination of Jungle, Kenry, and New Menry uh, uh, stylistic elements. So, I'm just putting this out there. This is a very interesting set of paintings. It's not completely clear the region it's coming from or the date of when it was actually commissioned. So press the like button, you can subscribe, you can join HAR on Patreon, and you can also make a donation on the HAR homepage.